Welcome to October's Leaco Challenge. Today's problem is linked to list cycle 2. Given a linked list, return the node where the cycle begins. If there is no cycle, return null. Now there's a cycle if there is some node in the list that can be reached again by continuously following the next pointer. So if we had this linked list here, you can see at negative 4, we're going to cycle back to 2. So this is where the linked or the cycle begins. Now, Normally, if we were to do this straightforwardly, it's pretty simple, right? All we need to do is keep track of all the nodes that we've seen before. And if we've seen it, then we just return that node that, because that's where it's going to begin the cycle. So we can just keep track of that in some sort of set and go with that. So what I'll do is start with the head called the cur pointer. And we'll have a lookup. And this will be a set. And we'll say while cur if cur in lookup, then we return this cur. Uh, otherwise, we will put this cur into the lookup set at cur, and then we'll just move our pointer ahead, cur.next. Now, if we don't uh, find anything, we can just return none here, and that's going to be it. We'll see if that works. So there we go, accepted. Very simple, right? But they give us a little caveat and said, hey, can you solve this in O1 of constant memory? So if that's the case, this is using O of n space, right? Because we're keeping track of every single node. Um, how would we do that without using any memory? So normally with a linked list problem, if we were to do something without memory, uh, there's usually two ways we can do that. Either one, we could um, use the values of the node themselves or modify the linked list to kind of keep track of where we've been. But they say that you should not modif modify the linked list. And on top of that, there's nothing unique about these values that we can really take advantage of. Like there's no, no constraint there. They can be anything. So because of that, um, what other methods are there that we could use? Well, there's a method with two pointers. Um, it's a pretty classic algorithm called the torus and the hair. And that would be perfect for solving this. What would happen is we have two pointers starting with the head. One will move at the speed of two, while other will move at the speed of one. And as soon as those two pointer, um, pointers meet, we move back one of the pointers back to the head, and then we move those ahead by one. And as soon as those meet, that's going to be where the cycle begins. Um, and the reason for that, there's a mathematical reason. I don't really want to go into it too much. But really, that algorithm is something that you either know or you don't. You're not going to just come up with it on the spot. So I think it's definitely good to... Uh, be aware of that al this algorithm. So how would this work? Well, we start with saying if not head, we return um, return none because we can't run this algorithm. Now we're going to have a slow and fast pointer, and these will both point to the head at first. So while fast dot next and fast dot next dot next, which means that there's two ahead, we are going to move the slow to slow.next and move the fast to fast.next.next. Now, as soon as these two um, pointers are pointing to the same node, then we know that we've uh, reached our cycle point. Or It's not actually where the cycle begins, but it's the um, point that we're going to restart our, our um, traversal to find where the actual cycle begins. So if fast equals slow, then we break. Now, if we've um, found this to be like if we've broken out of this loop and haven't been able to find a cycle, that means that this there was no cycle to begin with. So if we'll say if not fast on next and not fast, or I should say or or fast not fast on next on next, then we can just return because there is no cycle. Otherwise, now these two pointers are pointing at some point within our cycle. We're going to move back one of these pointers back to, let's call it slow 2. Uh, we can make that equal to fast or slow. It doesn't really matter. And then we'll say while, let's see, slow, while slow dot next. And, uh, it doesn't really matter because we know that there's a cycle. So we'll say while slow dot next. Um, let's see. If these two are equal to one another, we return that immediately. So if slow equals 
slow two, and I just realized it, it's not the fast that we want to move. It's slow two moves back to the head. So slow if slow equals slow two, then return slow. Otherwise, move slow dot next, slow to slow dot next, and move slow two equal to slow dot next. And because we've already um, checked for whether there's going to be no cycle here. I don't think we need to do a return, but hey, just in case, we'll just put a return there. Let's go and submit that. And there we go, accepted. So this is a classic algorithm, one that you probably should memorize. It's called the Taurus and the Hare. And if you want to f figure out, like, find out why this exactly works, um, you probably can read about it. But otherwise, I'm just going to there. Thanks for watching my channel. And remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.